It is early Tuesday morning in the city of Seoul, and these are the latest developments following the Inter-Korean summit. Later today, South Korea will begin dismantling loudspeakers along the DMZ. Both North and South Korea have agreed to dismantle loudspeakers, stop propaganda broadcasts, and to stop leaflets from flying over the DMZ to broadcast propaganda to people on the other side of the border. In other news, President Moon Jae-in has urged Parliament to ratify the Panmujeon Declaration. If the Panmujeon Declaration is ratified by Parliament, South Korea will be forced to recognize the agreement and to abide by it, even if there is a change in president or in political power in South Korea. The two major hurdles to this being ratified is one, the opposition party, which is more conservative, is said to be against this declaration and says that they will block the parliamentary ratification of it. Also, the Constitution of South Korea does not officially recognize North Korea as a sovereign state, therefore making it hard to have this parliamentary ratification happening. Time will tell if this is ratified so that South Korea will be bind, bounded by the agreement no matter what happens in the future. President Moon wants to have key points of the declaration processed as soon as possible and is looking for ways in which North Korea can take action in the short term to help build trust and faith in its willingness to abide by the agreement. It was also revealed that Chairman Kim Jong-un of, of North Korea asked President Kim if he would pick up the phone at any time that he calls. The answer given by President Kim was that Chairman, by President Moon, is that Chairman Kim would need to notify him before calling so that he can be ready to receive his call. More news will be breaking, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates. This has been your news update following the Korean summit.